epic 40k battles of history! Right on. All right, it's another week, another battle report. This time, I will not be playing Blood Angels. It's gonna be amazing. Said I'll be playing Just be Jason here, and Hello. he is gonna be playing his IG. That's not fully painted. Not yet, but it will be. But it will be. And the funny thing about this is, is that he would have played me Blood Angels because that's fully <laughs> painted. But he felt bad, so uh, it's gonna be IG this time. So just go over your list if you can. Here, you can take it. Sure, okay. Um, so it's almost basically just the regular uh, leaf blower list with a couple um, variations that just is kind of a personal preference really of mine. Uh, we have the uh, four veteran squads, uh, two with the uh, three plaz and the last cannon in chimeras. Uh, one of the veteran squads has three flamers in a chimera. Uh, three melt gun veteran squad, the ones that you normally see, in a chimera. Um, Psyker battle squad. Um, full strength on that. Company Command Squad with uh, two plasma guns and a Chimera. Uh, a Hellhound Squadron, which is uh, something I really like, but I get a lot of flat for, but I think this will be really good <laughs> game against Nick's Orcs today. Um, a na naked Lehman Russ uh, battle tank with a very cool, almost finished uh, zombie driver there, because this is zombie Nurgle Guard. Uh, Mana Core, you guys know what that does. And uh, two Vendettas. And that's it. So here's Nick. All right, guys. So my orcs, uh, I'm just tweaking around the edges with them. You know, I'm keeping the core the same. So I got two 30-man boy squads, which will really enjoy the hellhounds, I'm sure. I got a truck with the uh, mega knobs and gas. I got commandos with uh, Mad Doc and Snick Rot. And I have this time instead of storm boys, I'm going to be taking two sets of copters with buzz saws and twin link rocket launchers. So hopefully my plan is to, um, you know. Cower, have him cower in a corner and wait for the onslaught of orcs, which I think he's probably going to oblige me with and try to shoot me to death. <laughs> Typical IG. That's true. Alright All right, guys, so it's, of course it's a Bay Area open missions. Um, so we have the three objectives, the capture and control, the seize ground, and kill points as all is required. Um, and also, um, this could be a Dawn of War mission, so that might help me out, we'll see. Um, but Jason won the roll off and he got to go first, so he is going to take first and um, so he'll get the cert first uh, time to shoot at me when the uh, night fight ends. So here we go. Alright, so we have deployment here, very simple. There is a chimera to um, basically make sure my guys can't get anywhere near it. Uh, and I decided to reserve everything, not Don War reserve, real reserve. So Snickrot's going to outflank or whenever do his special reserve, things will come up any cable edge. Copters are going to come off uh, whichever side I get to roll on. Everything else is going to reserve reserve. And we'll see how it goes. Turn one, coming up. Okay, this is uh, Jason, a.k.a. Raw Dogger, here. And um, for my first turn, I kind of uh, came on fairly cautiously, I think. Um, over here on the right flank, I did come in a bit aggressively with the Hellhounds leading up, um, with the Meltavets, Lehman Russ Battle Tank kind of following behind him. Again, Nick regular reserved everything, so um, it is quite, uh, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, so I'm just kind of trying to prepare for as much as I can. The Psyker Battle Squad kind of came in, ran up there. I'm going to try to get up on those levels so they can't get assaulted right away if Snake Rock comes on behind. Over here we have a classic Imperial Guard castle. Um, as you can see, what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, what we're going to be wrapping the outline of the uh, castle here with Guardsmen. Um, remember, Snake Rot and friends could come on really anywhere, so you need to make sure that you're basically as close to the tanks as possible so he can assault a one infantry squad when they come in and then you can try to unload with everything um, after those guardsmen inevitably get decimated. So <laughs> that's the plan over here. I know that he does have um, some def copters coming on as well so I have to kind of be aware of my flanks. Um, so yeah, a lot of scary stuff coming in next turn. Maybe. Um, maybe, because he did regular reserve Yeah. and uh, hopefully I'm ready for him. Yeah. So, uh, And then Nick I wanted to explain what you did here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I did this amazing thing where I don't bring anyone on. And what happens when I don't bring anyone on is literally there's no models on my side of the table. So look, see no models? It's pretty amazing, I know. Descent of Greenskins. Yes, Descent of Greenskins. Good call. I like that. I like, I like that? that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, right there, Descent of Greenskins. That might happen. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, turn two might be a little more adventurous. Let's find out. Okay, everyone here. Uh, this is Jason, um, aka Raw Dogger again. Here on my second turn, kind of did a little bit of maneuvering. Um, Psycho Battle Squad uh, ran up 
a little bit midfield there to try to get out of the way of uh, Snickrot and his giant mob when they come in. Um, over here, I did kind of complete the uh, the castle as much as I really think I'm going to need. I guess we'll find out. Um, <laughs> pop smoke on a couple vehicles that I thought are going to be vulnerable to the rockets. Um, of the outflanking um, death coptas over here, so you can see pop smoke over here. Everything over here kind of just made a mini castle of vehicles. Uh, don't really know where he's coming in, so I'm trying to cover the entire battlefield as best as I can. But again, uh, very strange game against the orcs now where it's the top of the second and not a shot has been fired. I'll give you a brief history of pain with the back of my hand. All right, so um, I got half my army in with my, uh, basically pretty much half, um, maybe one over Gretchen. Damn you, Gretchen, you're supposed to stay away from mana cores. Anyway, uh, so I got a boy squad, I got gas at the truck, uh, I got copters over here. Um, as for what happened, um, I think best possible scenario happened. I called my wall because I needed to do some damage, regardless of sticking around or not. So, but I brought my copters on, decided not to turbo boost them because I figured it doesn't matter. They're gonna get, if they get shot, they're gonna get shot, they're gonna die no matter how turbo boosting or not turbo boosting. So I decided to shoot two rockets and I wrecked a vendetta. How amazing is that? <laughs> and it's because he went flat out and I got him mobilized and he just crashed to the ground. Um, so Gaz came, brought the truck on, 13, because it's red painted, but it's actually yellow paint for this. Came out, did his wog, all this difficult terrain test in Slow and Percival. Got some hellhounds, so one's destroyed, the other one is everything but destroyed. And um, so yeah, it was a pretty awesome turn for me. Um, we'll see how it goes, I'm gonna get shot the hell out. I probably will only have gas left after this, but that's the point. Anyway. You've got no idea what you're messing with here, boy. Okay, so um, I don't really want to talk about this turn, <laughs> but since Nick is actually filming me and I, I'm forced to. <laughs> so I shot my entire <laughs> entire guard army here at Gaz and Friends. And when I say entire, I mean the entire army, including mana core, battle cannon shots, everything. And I killed one knob. You put a wound on another. And I put a wound on another. It's important. Yeah. <laughs> um, other than that, I, it's just you know, one of those things. I don't know. Um, they, uh, the second battle squad did run up to the top to try to run their support next turn. They do have a good a good view of the battlefield now. I don't think they're in range of those orcs back there yet. Um, the castle's still here. Kind of debated moving it, but I can't really because the way I set up. So uh, people who are watching at home, uh, if you want a castle like this, you better damn sure make up your mind you're not going to move because if you want to, you are stuck. Um, again, the entire army shot. I mean, kind of doing what we had to do, but when you're not rolling, you're not rolling. So. There's Gaz, still there, <laughs> ready to go. Uh, so on to Nick's uh, bottom of the third. Yeah, so it's the bottom of third. Um, everything kind of went as expected um, for me. Um, nothing too crazy happened to Jason, except for he got, um, I guess I'm not really, so it was a 50-50 prospect, but his um, Chimera lived and it's only stunned, so he can come and flame guys, do whatever he wants with that squad there. Um, Gaz destroyed Lehman Russ, so I'm slowly but surely whittling away templates, which has kind of been my goal all along. But now he's not fearless, so you can imagine what's going to happen to Gaz, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, uh, it's the end of top 10 to 3, going to top of 4. Okay, uh, Raw Dog, you're here at the end of the top of the fourth turn. Um, over here on this flank, it was kind of a, a complete failure on my part again. Shot everything I had, <laughs> everything I had on this flank into uh, Snick Rotten Friends and four, five, five. Killed, killed five, five, five of his, uh, his orcs. Yeah, I had one really good roll. Really good five plus saves, I'll tell you. Um, so that's going to be really extremely bad. Um, the fact is I had to actually get out of the Chimeras um, and I had to get out of my Command Chimera to try to rally my Melta Squad over here. Uh, to get back in the fight, and I failed my leadership check on that one, so I'm rolling hot, yeah. rolling high when it, when it counts. Um, <laughs> and so they failed anyways. They did um, blast Gas School with a melt -a gun in the face, um, yep. put a wound on him, and that killed one of his, his boys there with him. Uh, then I psycho battle squatted him. Um, he did fail his leadership check and fell back four inches. Um, so it's something, you know, it's a little bit of a victory. Yeah. My big moral victory for this turn was Mr. Manicore here. Yes. Uh, finally did something. Uh, shot the orc mob over there that used to be 30 and is now oh, 11. 11. 11. <laughs> 11. Um, so that one is just, I, I had took a chance and, 
and shit my pants. Yeah. Well, I guess that would be Nick shit his pants. Um, and also the um, copter died. The copters died. I did shoot them with about what three multi lasers. Couldn't yes. do anything. Took put a wound. But and last it, it took Mr. Uh, Mr. Valker or Vendetta here um, with two last cannon hits and uh, and took them out. So yeah, that's that's really. It's not looking too good with them there, but we'll see. So uh, see you on the bottom, bottom of four. four with Nick. All right, so I was bottom of four. I got the rest of my army to come on, so I got a bunch of boys here. Uh, I pretty much did what I wanted by taking out all the pie plates, but the Psycho Battle Squad is uh, still up here, so it can be quite the nuisance, and I wasn't able to multi-assault the whole world. I'm sure Jason is really sad about that, but I didn't, it didn't happen. So I ended up uh, hurting some stuff, but uh, he's still pretty mobile. Uh, but the best part is that my truck uh, 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 rammed, I mean tank shocked one of his units off the board and that was really kind of cool and for me at least, I, Jason I don't think liked it that much. <laughs> well, and then uh, yeah. copters over here uh, continued the vendetta spree of killing and the other ones came and avenged their brother and they kill off a vendetta, so, or uh, Valkyrie, vendetta Valkyrie, whatever they call him. And Gaz is cowering because he doesn't want to be psychic battle squad again. And Gretchen are hiding, as usual. Okay, well, <laughs> Rod Dogger here once again at the top of the fifth. Um, and things kind of just have continued to go downhill. Um, we can't really do anything, it seems like. But, you know, it's uh, one of those nights, I suppose. Um, so, tried to just kind of move to contest some objectives with the only troop scoring squad I had left. Up here, don't even think I got close enough for that. Um, Psycho Battle Squad, again, tried to... Uh, I couldn't shoot any of his squads down below their fearless levels. So <laughs> I, uh, I tried to Psycho Battle Squad the, um, their blast onto that squad there to try to force them off the objective, and I rolled a 10. So I'm rolling hot when it comes for my leadership checks, that's for sure. I think I rolled uh, two double sixes and a double five. So when it counts, I'm making my, making my leadership. <laughs> right. Um, and that's it. Like that, it's the top of the fifth. I assume <laughs> Nick might be winning this one a little bit, as you can see. Um, and so I'll hand this over to Nick, and uh, we'll get done with the bottom of the five, so we can go to bed. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so bottom turn five. I uh, did some final mopping up. Every all my dice went completely hot. I even glanced with a stupid big shooter from a truck and immobilized a chimera. <laughs> Rockets killed. This this is all dead. Dead. It's all gone. <laughs> this is all gone. I feel really bad. Um, but I actually kind of designed my, my army is designed to kill IG. Surprisingly enough, it just boxes you in, and um, he didn't get out of the box. And um, I killed his vendettas. That was. He got sad after the spendetta died, so that's kind of what it is. Uh, Jason, you have any ideas? What anything to say? Was it just bad dice? Is it something you could have um, done better? You thought? Well, I, I kind of think this is a good lesson for all you out there who uh, think you can just take a, an internet list and be really good. You can take a guard list and you can just be a bad player. <laughs> this is why <what laughs> he wasn't to. that bad a player. Um, I, I do. I mean, you can always say you know it's a dice, but I mean I had some pretty some pretty bad rolling on this. Um, but you know you just. Keep going, and, and hopefully uh, you heat up at some point. And I just didn't heat up at this this time. Um, but your mana car blew up 18 orcs. Yeah, so I did have a cool moment. <laughs> yeah, you know, the Psycho Battle Squad did one thing. Um, yeah. But again, you know, it's just one of those games where you, you try to try your hardest. But Nick's a good player, and this is a very good list. And you know, I did my best. So. All right. Forward to the next time we play. Yep. Okay. Let's do the handshake. The handshake so important. There we go. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> this will be up uh, shortly. There are 10 million, 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 million particles in the universe that we can observe. Your mama took the ugly ones and put